hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to make crochet flower coasters in a basket project so in this project we are going to first start off by making these uh, beautiful floral coasters followed by this basket which will be used to store these coasters so you can fold the coasters in various ways to store them into the basket to make them look like a bouquet so you can fold them individually and place it this way or you can uh, wrap them around each other and uh, place it um, in this way as well so it looks like a bunch of flowers in a basket so i hope you like today's tutorial and please do refer to the description for details on the uh, hook size the yarn use and the other things required for today's project so we're going to start off by making the coaster first so uh, this is one coaster which I have already made in this shade of uh, yellow and I am planning to use uh, this orange yarn you can also use a lighter uh, yellow yarn so I'm trying to use colors which uh, are similar to yellow so either orange or a lighter yellow color so along with that I'll use this green and the white color for the entire coaster I'm using a hook of uh, 3.5 mm uh, these details will be available in the description as well so i'm going to start off with the yellow uh, sorry orange yarn i'm going to make a magic ring and i'm going to chain two so this is for the center part of the coaster so this chain two that i am doing does not count as a stitch and after the chain two we are going to make uh, double crochets uh, so we're going to make first one double crochet and followed by a chain followed by another double crochet followed by another chain so it's going to be a alternate between a double crochet and a chain one so we're going to make uh, 12 sets of them that is like uh, the set of one double crochet and one chain so make a total of uh, 12 double crochets and 12 chains uh, between them so once you are done uh, this will be the center part of the coaster so once you are done making the 12 double crochets and the 12 chains in between them we are going to close the magic ring so here we are almost at the end of this round so at the last stitch i'm going to chain one again and i'm going to uh, st a slip stitch to the top of this chain two so this chain two is not a stitch so the stitch right on top of it i'm going to slip stitch then i'm going to chain one pull this yarn tight to make a knot and then trim off the yarn and also i'll be closing the magic ring so there will be a tail yarn available uh, at the magic ring so just pull this yarn as tight as possible to close this uh, center part of the magic ring so here we are done with the center part and we have these uh, two tail yarns so if you would have left a longer tail yarn you can use a needle and stitch them in into the existing stitches if not you can use a smaller crochet hook and just pull them through few of the existing stitches until the yarn is secure and then trim it off so both the tail yarns i'm just passing it through few of the existing stitches the center a part of the stitch has more uh, i mean there there are the stitches here are easier to cover the tail yarn so i'm passing through them and here our center part is ready the next color is the white color so i'm going to make a slip knot again i'm going to reduce the size of the slip knot and then I'm going to pull this slip knot through the chain one space so you need not worry which chain one space any chain one space uh, you can use and just pull it under the chain one space and chain one now we are going to make another chain and after that we are going to make one double crochet here too that a chain of two that we made does not count as a stitch 
so we after the chain of two we made two double crochets followed by one chain one and then into the next chain one space we are going to make again two double crochets so here in this round we will be making our stitches only in the chain one space and we will be making two double crochets in the chain one space and between the two double crochets we will also chain one so this is first double crochet this is the second double crochet and chain one so continue this till the end of this round and you should repeat this two double crochet and chain one a total of 12 times and this is the last chain one space so make the first double crochet followed by the second double crochet followed by a chain of one and now we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two or on top of the first double crochet you can say so slip stitch here and slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch under the chain one space so basically we are moving uh, our stitches to the chain one space after that make a chain of two and then make three double crochets in this uh, chain one space and here too the uh, first chain two does not count as a stitch so it might appear like you have four double crochets here but we will not be considering the chain of two so similarly for this round also what we are doing is making three double crochets followed by a chain of one and we are making all our stitches into the chain space so make a chain of one and then make three double crochets into the chain space so repeat this um, pattern uh, of three double crochets and chain one a total of 12 times so here we are at the end of this round we are going to chain one so always at the end we are going to chain one and then slip stitch to the top of our first stitch and now we are going to chain one and pull the yarn tight to form a knot and trim the white yarn off and we will be stitching in this white yarn as well so just pass the white yarn through some of the existing stitches and once you have pulled the white yarn through few of the existing stitches and the yarn is secure you can trim off the axis so here we have finished around with the white yarn now we're going to start off use by using the green yarn so start off by making a slip knot and reduce the size of the slip knot by pulling on the tails and here too we will be working only in the chain one space so pull this loop or the slip knot through any of the chain one space it does not matter which chain one space you select pull it through it and then we are going to make a chain of seven so this chain of seven uh, will act as the uh, leaves of the uh, flowers so make a chain of seven and then you are going to make one single crochet into the same space so into the same space make one single crochet so this loop that is formed using this chain of seven acts as the first leaf and after the first single crochet we'll make one more single crochet that is a second single crochet and then now make a third single crochet and after the third single crochet we will make a chain of seven again this is the second uh, leaf for the flower so make the chain of seven and after that into the same space we are just going to make a slip stitch so as you can see another loop is formed with the chain of seven and this acts as the second leaf 
now we know that we have three double crochets but only two stitches of these double crochets are available so into each of these stitches we are going to make one single crochet on top so make one single crochet over this double crochet another single crochet over this next double crochet and now move on to the chain one space again so make a slip stitch into the chain one space then chain seven so this is the first leaf of the second flower and make three single crochets so this is the first single crochet this is the second single crochet and this is the third single crochet now make a chain of seven again so this is the second leaf of the second flower and slip stitch back into the same space and now into the on top of the next two stitches we are making one single crochet in each and as you uh, would have seen uh, when we are making the initial stitches we are also uh, making sure that one of the tail yarn uh, we are making the stitches on top of it so that we can hide the tail yarn while we are making the stitch itself if not you can also uh, stitch in the tail yarn at the end of the project so here continue this pattern uh, with a total of 12 sets of the same pattern you will repeat so each set will have two leaves so here we are at the end of this round and we are into this uh, last set of leaves and then we are making these two single crochets over these two double crochets and now when we reach the first stitch we are just going to make a slip stitch into the first chain space and then chain one pull the yarn tight and trim off the yarn so the round with the leaves is done we just have to stitch in the tail yarn so the tail yarn again in a similar manner use a smaller crochet hook and pass the yarn through few of the existing stitches and trim them off so now to make the flower we will be working in the center or in the mid section of this uh, sets of leaves so start off by making a slip knot uh, reduce the size of the slip knot by pulling on the tail yarn and now select any set of leaves so each set has uh, two leaves so if you see there are three single crochets so into the middle single crochet between the leaves we are going to insert our hook and pull the slip knot through it so this is where we will be uh, making the flower so make a chain of two first so here to the chain of two does not count as a stitch after the chain of two we will be making six double crochets into the same stitch so just make six double crochets into the middle stitch so this stitch is like if you remember uh, after the chain of seven we had made three single crochets so into the second or the middle single crochet we are making the stitches for the flower so that the flower is located right in the middle between the leaves so after making six uh, double crochet take your hook out and insert your hook on top of the first double crochet and pull this loop through it to make a kind of slip stitch and now we are going to make a chain of three and then insert your hook through the center and take it out through the back and make a single crochet uh, chain three again 
and insert your hook through the center and take it out through the back so we are inserting into the same space and make a single crochet chain three again and insert your hook through the center and take it out through the back and make another single crochet so we made three sets of uh, these small picots now chain one and after the chain of one we will be going into this mid section between the so here we have two stitches into the second stitch so into the second stitch uh, so fold this leaf to the front so that you can access the stitch we want all our leaves to um, be on the front side of the or the right side of the coaster so make a single crochet into this second stitch then chain one again and now make a double crochet into the middle or the second single crochet of the next set of leaves so while doing that always remember to uh, fold or bring the leaf to the front uh, so that it is easy to access the stitch so that you can make your uh, flower pattern so here too we are going to make six uh, double crochets into this uh, stitch followed uh, after we are done with the six double crochets take out your hook insert your hook into the first stitch and pull this loop through the first stitch and now make a chain of three and insert your hook through the center and take it out through the back so and make a single crochet chain three again and insert your hook through the center and make a single crochet and chain three again and insert your hook into the same space and make another single crochet now chain one and now we are going to move and make a single crochet uh, fold the leaf leaf to the front so that you can access the stitch so into the second stitch make one single crochet and then chain one again and then you can start working on the next flower so next flower is again on the middle stitch or the uh, second stitch of the next set of leaves so we will be repeating this pattern of uh, making six double crochets and connecting the ends and then making the uh, chain a set of chain threes at the uh, back part of the flower uh, uh, <coughs> we'll be making 12 flowers uh, totally and these flowers will all be located between the uh, sets of leaves that is between two leaves so here we are almost done and this is the last uh, uh, that is a 12th flower and after that I'm going to just uh, show you how to finish off this round so chain one and into the second stitch make a single crochet and chain one again and now on top that is uh, of our flower that is the first double crochet that we had insert your hook and make a slip stitch on top of the flower or on the first double crochet of our first flower now chain one pull the yarn tight and form a knot and trim off this yarn uh, now this tail yarn too uh, we can stitch it in using a needle or you can use a smaller crochet hook and pull it through few of the existing stitches and then trim the excess off so here this is the back side and this is the front side of our coaster as you can see 
they look really pretty now you can stop with this and just use these coasters as it is or you can move ahead and start making this basket as well and use this coasters as a uh, flower basket as well so we're going to start off by making a magic ring and chaining one now take this magic ring out of your fingers and into this magic ring we will be making eight single crochets so make eight single crochets into the magic ring the chain of one does not count as a stitch so apart from the chain of one we will be making eight single crochets which counts now for the base part of this um, basket we will be working in a spiral pattern so i'll uh, show you what i mean by that so pull the tail yarn and close the magic ring now on top of our first uh, single crochet i'm going to make another single crochet so this is what i meant by working on a spiral i'm not going to slip stitch to the first stitch i am just going to make a single crochet on top of the first stitch and to make uh, and to identify that this is the first stitch of the next round I'll be using markers and I'll be marking the stitch so I'll be marking the stitch if you do not have a marker you can use a yarn of a different color and pass it through this stitch so for the second round what we will be doing is we'll be making an increase in each stitch by increase I mean we'll be making two uh, stitches in the same stitch so since we're making single crochets we'll be making two single crochets on each stitch and since our previous round had eight single crochets this round should uh, by the end of it we should have a total of six, 16 single crochets so continue making uh, two single crochets on each stitch till you reach the marked stitch so when you reach the mark stitch uh, this will be the end of uh, round number two so here this is the last stitch we are making two single crochets here now we are going to remove the marker and first make one single crochet on top of this first stitch place the marker back and After placing the marker back we will be making an increase into the first stitch so for the pattern for this round will be an increase in the first stitch that means two single crochet in the first stitch followed by one single crochet in the next stitch again followed by an increase in the next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next stitch an increase in the next stitch followed by one single crochet so repeat this till we reach the marker and once we reach the marker we will start off with a new round that is round number four so in for round number four to make a single crochet first place the marker back and make an increase in the first stitch followed by one single crochet in the second stitch followed by one single crochet on the third stitch now repeat this again so two single crochets in the next stitch followed by one single crochet on the second stitch followed by one single crochet on the third stitch now repeat this pattern till you reach the mark stitch and then we will begin our next round so here we are at the end of round number four and we're going to start round number five so in round number five uh, this is also similar but we are just going to add one more single crochet so make the first single crochet mark it now this first stitch we should be doing an increase so make one more single crochet into the same stitch the next three stitches we will just make one uh, single crochet in each this is the second single crochet this is the third single crochet so the pattern for this round is an increase in the first stitch 
one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and we will continue the same pattern so repeat this pattern uh, till you reach the marked stitch and then we will move on to round number six so for round number six also it is the same we are going to make an increase first in the first stitch followed by one single crochet in each of the next four stitches so make one single crochet on the second stitch one single crochet on the third stitch one single crochet on the fourth stitch one single crochet on the fifth stitch now repeat this pattern till the end of this round and then we will move on to our next round that is our round number seven so here our base is almost ready from here onwards we will be increasing the height of the basket so for this round alone we will be working only on the back loop so this you can see this is called the back loop so first make one single crochet on top of this first stitch of the next round so here this round entirely will be working on the back loop so to make the stitches on the back loop insert your hook through the center and make a stitch over the second loop or the loop at the back of the stitch and in this round we are just making one single crochet in each of the stitches but we are working only on the back loop so since in the last round we had 48 single crochets this round also we will have only 48 single crochets so we reach the first stitch and now we are back to we're going to make a slip stitch here and then chain one so we were working in a spiral so far we'll be stopping that and this chain one that we did does not count as a stitch so into the same stitch we are making one more single crochet and for this round also we will be just making one single crochet in each stitch so we are just increasing the height of the basket nothing else so to increase the height of the basket we will just make the same number of stitches there will be no increases so i'm just using the marker just to for me to be easier to identify the first stitch but uh, from now onwards we will not be working on us in a spiral form we will at the end of the round we will be making a slip stitch we will chain one for the next uh, round and then we will continue so here we are end of this round so we are going to remove the marker and make a slip stitch so make a slip stitch to your first stitch so as you can see this is the first stitch make a slip stitch here and then chain one this chain one doesn't count as a stitch into the same stitch make another single crochet because the chain one does not count as a stitch so we will be making just one single crochet in each stitch for this round as well and uh, nothing else so it's pretty simple just continue making one single crochet in each stitch till you reach the end of this round so you can still use the marker so here we are at the end of this round and uh, we are first going to make a slip stitch on top of the first stitch and now what we are going to do is we are going to change our hook so we were using a 3.5 mm hook i'm going to change it to a 4.5 mm hook you can also change it to a 5 mm hook the point of this is that we are going to uh, make uh, the uh, uh, pattern which will uh, be a little bit larger in size and will uh, give a kind of a uh, design in the center part of the basket so we're going to first make a single crochet and mark that stitch 
into the next stitch we will make a double crochet the following stitch will be a single crochet and the next stitch will be a double crochet so here for the entire round what we will be doing is making a single crochet followed by a double crochet the starting stitch was a single crochet so we will just alternate between single crochet and double crochet till we reach our first stitch and we will still have uh, 48 number of stitches because we are not making any increases or decreases so here we are at the end of this round and now we are removing our marker and we are going to first slip stitch make a chain of one and this time uh, because the first stitch of the previous one was a single crochet so we will start off this time by making a double crochet into that stitch so what we would want to do is to make the other stitch on top of it that is if the previous uh, stitch was a single crochet make a double crochet on it if the previous stitch was a double crochet make a single crochet on it so here too this entire round we will just be alternating so we started off with a double crochet followed by a single crochet then again a double crochet so just repeat it till you reach the first stitch we still will have a total of 48 stitches because we are not doing any increases or decreases so now remove the marker make a slip stitch this round will be almost or exactly the same of uh, what we did last but just the stitch at the beginning will change because the previous round's first stitch was a double crochet so we are starting off with a single crochet and then alternating next will be a double crochet then a single crochet then a double crochet and a single crochet so repeat this till the end of this round if you find this uh, find it difficult to use this pattern you can just make one single crochet in each stitch till you uh, uh, reach the desired height of your basket and then follow the same pattern uh, and you need not do this alternating uh, single crochet and double crochet if you would like a simpler basket so for this round we have started off by making a slip stitch and chaining one now we are counting 18 stitches so count 18 stitches from your first stitch and mark the 18th stitch so this is where we will make the small handles for the basket now after that count seven stitches and into the seventh stitch place another marker so you have six stitches between the two markers now count 18 stitches again and place a marker on the 18th stitch and count after this count seven stitches and into the seventh stitch the seventh stitch will be the last stitch of this round uh, so place a marker here so after this we are going to start this next round so in this next round too we will be alternating between the double crochet and single crochet we will start off by a double crochet because our previous round uh, had a single crochet at the beginning so make a double crochet for into the first stitch and a single crochet into the next so continue the, this alternating of uh, double crochet and single crochet uh, till the 18th stitch or till you reach the first marker so there is no change just repeat this pattern until you reach the marker 
and once you reach the marker we are going to so remove the marker here the sti uh, stitch that we're going to make on the mark stitch will be always be a single crochet so make a single crochet on this mark stitch and now chain six so this chain six is for the handle of the basket and go and remove the other marker and make a single crochet on top of this stitch so in between you would have skipped uh, six stitches so instead of the six stitches you made a chain of six so this is how it will look currently now followed by a double crochet so we will again repeat into the next 18 stitches this alternation of double crochet and single crochet so repeat this pattern into this uh, next uh, 18 stitches so this is the first handle now the second handle will be into this next two marker so remove the first marker and make a single crochet here now chain six and make a single crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one now for this round we are just going to make uh, first uh, one single crochet in each uh, stitch till we reach the 18th stitch so just continue making single crochets till you reach the 18th stitch and when you reach the chain of six we will be making 10 single crochets over the chain of six So just make single crochets on top of the chain of six until you have a count of 10. Following that, just make one single crochet in each stitch for the next 18 stitches. And again, uh, for the other handle also, we will be making 10 single crochets over the chain of six. So just make one single crochet on top of each stitch or oh, sorry just make a one a ten single crochets on top of the chain of six and make one single crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch to the first stitch so we are almost done and this is like the last round and here we are just making one slip stitch over each stitch so just continue making slip stitches till you reach the first stitch so do this and we are almost done with the uh, basket so do this until you reach the first stitch and uh, I just wanted to show uh, what you will do on, on top of the handles so here also you as you had made the single crochets on top of the chain so right now just on top of the single crochets you will just make the slip stitches so there is no difference actually but I just wanted to show you the handles part so that there is no confusion so similarly this is the next handle just make slip stitches on top of the uh, stitches that are available on the handle as well and once you're done with the slip stitches over the second handle you will reach your first stitch and once you reach your first stitch you are just going to slip stitch and so this is the first stitch so you're just going to make a slip stitch 
uh, chain one pull the yarn tight and trim and now uh, similar to what we did before you can either stitch in the tail yarn using a needle or you can use a smaller crochet hook and uh, hide the tail yarn through, through into some existing stitches and uh, one more thing is if you use cotton yarn and use a um, uh, stiffening uh, spray into the cotton yarn uh, that will give a nice uh, sh I mean that will hold the shape of the basket better so here I have not done that but you could do that uh, to make the basket more stiff and easier to hold the uh, crochet coasters so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and uh, 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 please check out my other videos as well and you might like them also uh, thank you very much for watching guys uh, subscribe to my channel uh, click on the bell icon for notifications and give me a thumbs up if you like this video have a great day guys